Welcome back everybody to season two of College Free. I'm here in Vancouver and today we're going to attempt to sail across the Pacific without knowing how to sail or swim very well. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to crew my way across the Pacific. I'm not going to do it in one straight shot. It's going to be multiple, uh, multiple boats. The problem I'm having is that I'm in Vancouver in October, or November rather, and it's kind of cold. And so most of the boats that have set sail across the Pacific have already set sail. So I've already talked to two marinas, and they have no idea if anybody's going to go or not. But they referred me to the Super Yacht Marina, and uh, I'm going to go over there and see if, uh, see if I get lucky. All right, so welcome to the digital age. So guess what I found out? I found out that the chandeliers, the places where they sell like boat supplies and everything else, they're not actually posting forums for like crewing or anything like that. It's all done online. So what I'm seeing is a constant trend of you should check online, you should check online, check online. So all of this walking around may be for nothing. So it actually kind of seems like Vancouver's a dead end. Unless I can find something online, it doesn't look like it. I can actually talk my way onto a boat. I don't really know what's going to happen. I have a bus ticket down to Seattle. If we don't get anything, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't. So I'm here in the super rainy city of Seattle and I'm attempting to do the same thing that I did in Vancouver. Basically what we're doing is we're cold calling. So we're knocking on doors and asking people if they know anybody or know any opportunities to crew. So I've probably been to about at least five or six different marinas. Most of them require like different certifications like an STCW, or like a Twig card, I have no idea what those are. There is one contact that was kind of promising. I walked into the office and uh, the guy was like, well, they need an extra body for insurance purposes. And if nobody else is available, then we'll fly you down to French Polynesia and you'll sail uh, a boat, uh, deliver a boat from there to uh, San Francisco. So spoiler alert, the boat delivery didn't work out. They never got back to me and it was a false alarm. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, over the last month, I've been traveling down the Pacific side of North America. Uh, Vancouver, Seattle, I was in Portland, and now I'm headed to San Diego, and I've had no success. So I have to apologize for the lack of filming in Portland. The only searching that I was doing was online, but these are the websites that I was using primarily. I've heard from Vancouver, from Seattle, from Portland. But there's a bunch of boats that are in San Diego heading south and then heading west. I don't know if that's actually the case. I'm going to show up in San Diego and see what happens. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually pretty unsure about this whole endeavor because if it doesn't work out in San Diego, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing next. Like, absolutely zero idea. I was originally going to go to Panama, but the downside to that is most of the boats that go to Panama, from what I've heard from sailors and people who have done this for a while, they only stop and um, wait for their turn to cross into the canal. I'm gonna try my luck in San Diego and maybe that works. So I'm on a different train now and I'm headed to Bakersfield. Um, a couple of good things. So first, um, I probably have a place to stay in San Diego for at least a couple of nights. Uh, the other thing is maybe there's a boat that I can at least learn how to sail on. It's called the Golden Rule. Um, they're not sailing across the Pacific until probably like 2019, which is probably not good for my timeline, but it's at least an opportunity to learn how to work on a boat. The last leg of the trip was a ride from Bakersfield, California to, uh, to LA, and that's the first time that I've had a knife brandish at me. So I'm sitting in the bus, and this guy pulls out a huge bottle of gin, and he starts drinking, and uh, the lady beside him gets really mad because she's a recovering alcoholic, and so she storms off and runs up to the bus driver and tells him what's happening. Well, the bus driver comes back, and he asks, he asks around, he's like, who's drinking? And I pointed out the guy, and I was like, hey, the guy's drinking, he had a bottle of gin. Well, the bus driver couldn't find it because the guy had hit it, God knows where. I, don't, I didn't remember his name. But anyway, so the bus driver scolds him, goes back to the seat, and we drive off. And then the rest of the bus ride, uh, the guy who was drinking just sits there and starts brandishing a pocket knife and, like, winking at me the entire time. So I changed seats. 
tomorrow morning we're gonna go check out boats and hopefully we're successful. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are at the beautiful city of San Diego and we are headed to Shelter Island to see if we can find a boat. Um, I found out that there is an STCW course in San Diego. Basically what that means is it's like you're basically, basically certified to work on like any yachts or anything like large ships that aren't tall ships or sailboats. So like basically, yeah, private yachts. So everybody was pointing me to a place called Fraser Yachts, but unfortunately I got to Fraser Yachts and they had no information. In fact, they just told me to go and check out their Florida office, which I was like, okay, so yeah. No. So I'm striking out left and right over here. This is probably like the eighth or 10th marina that I've talked to and nobody seems to know anything about anything as far as like who's sailing and who's not. Um, it's not looking ideal, but they're sending me to a couple of tall ships that are around downtown in the area. Most of them are like historic and just like restoration, but I don't know. Um, not looking good so far. So the tall ships were a bust. I couldn't find a position living and working on board a tall ship and uh, living in San Diego is too expensive for my taste. So as much as I hate to admit it, I completely failed on this particular adventure. Um, and for the biggest reason is the lack of planning. I didn't plan and I'm not a huge fan of planning and um, yeah, I don't really like it. But that's the biggest reason why I failed. If I had planned, I would have known to leave earlier to get certain certificates, what boats to search for and where. I didn't know any of these things because I chose not to look them up. And consequently, that really did me in. If I had known those things, I think I would have turned out a little bit better and I would have had a little bit better luck. So even though I failed, it's a good learning experience for me because I know now that I should probably plan more and you can't get around the world entirely based on charisma and no experience. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, live hard and stay awesome.